So we're going to talk about percent composition. Um, and now we're looking at this, you know this 75 out of 175 percent. But what we want to do is look at something like NaCl. We want to find the percent composition of the, of the formula, the compound itself. So to do that, we need to look at the percentage by mass. Okay, this is the important part. We're going to find percent by mass. So write that down. The reason I say by mass is because you know, think about it if we did like percent by uh, like atoms. That would not really work out, would it? Because what would the percentage, uh, like how many atoms total do we have for this compound? Two. Na plus Cl is two atoms. That's your definition of a lot. Well, that's cool. Um, but I mean, so what percentage of the formula is sodium if you're doing it by atoms? Well, 50%. But that's completely wrong in terms of the actual range of the compound because chlorine is way bigger than sodium. Not way bigger, but it's bigger. So, you know, it doesn't work. So we got to do percent by mass. Uh, it's as straightforward as it sounds, honestly. All you need to do is just first figure out the total mass of sodium chloride. So you get out your periodic table, if you haven't already. Uh, so you've got to look up sodium and you got to look up chlorine. 50, what? 50 yeah, so you have one and one. Sodium is 22.99, chlorine is 35.45 in terms of mass. You add it up, it comes out to what was it? 58.44. 58.44 uh, grams. So that's your total mass. That's relatively easy to figure out. Now, what we're going to do after that, though, uh, we've got our total mass, we've got our individual masses. Here's your formula. I don't really think you'll need to know this, but you know, I mean, it'll just, it's kind of obvious. So, element, that is not how you spell element. So, element mass over total mass times 100 will give you your percentage of the element. I mean, it's just that simple. How much further up can I go? That's too bad. Um, so for element mass, uh, we're going to look at, we'll do sodium first. So you've got sodium, you know the mass is 22.99. You're going to divide by 58.44. Uh, you can put grams on top and bottom. It's going to cancel out. It's going to be unitless. So you're going to multiply by 100, and then you end up with, what is it? It's not 40. It's 39.33. Well, with this, with this round to the second decimal, you know, the hundredth place, I mean, that's what I would always suggest for percentages. Obviously, your goal is to get these things to add up to 100% or as close to 100% as possible. That's the goal. Um, so the next, the other one, you're going to do chlorine. So 35.45 divided by 58.44 times 100. This is your percentage of chlorine. Oh, you can see. And you get, what do you get? 60.66. 60.66. I mean, something like that. Whatever. I think I got... Yeah, so I got 60.67 if you want to round it up. But the point is, is that this will add up to 99.99%. That's fine. I mean, if you rounded it up, it would add up to 100% exactly. So, fine. So this is how you do your percentages. Now, the only other type of problem that I could see giving you any trouble uh, would be one like this. So let me show you. So... So what, you have two answers really fine? Well, if you have two elements, let's say you have three. So the next one, the only other one that I'd like to look at, let's say we have calcium nitrate. And I want to find the percent composition of that. Now, as far as the percent composition for calcium nitrate goes, uh, well, you got three elements, so you got to find the mass. So you got to find the mass of all three. You've got one calcium. How many ends do you have? How many nitrogens? Two nitrogens. Uh, calcium, I believe, is 40.08. Nitrogen is 14.01 on your table. And oxygen, how many of those do we have? Six. Six, so 16.0.
so that's 40.08 plus uh, 28.02. No. Says the girl that was just looking at her phone for the last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so you add this up. What is that? I don't remember. 164.1. Is this what you guys get? 164.1 grams? Okay. No, do you have questions? Or would you just want to? No questions. Okay. So that's your setup. Now, this is the important part for this. When you want to do your formula, you've got your total mass. So we've got our total mass. Uh, now, as far as the element mass goes, like let's say when we do nitrogen, we're not going to use 14. We're going to use 28 because we want the total mass of the entire of the element, in the entire compound, not just the individual like mass of one atom. We want the full mass, just so you know. So for calcium, it's 40.08 divided by 164.1 times 100. Uh, for nitrogen. It'll be, again, 28.02 divided by 164.1 times 100. And then for oxygen, it'll be 96 times, or divided by 164.1 times 100. You do all that. So calcium will be 24.2%. Nitrogen will be... 17.07%. What? At least that's what I got. He claims he got like 34 or something percent. I don't think that's right. All this work is math? Yeah. All that work is to find these three things. Well, you don't really have to write that I, I would want to see this. That's what I would want to see. I'm not going to make you write this out like this. I mean, you know. You're past that now. So any questions on anything? I mean, this is about as straightforward as it gets for this stuff. I really think you could have probably figured this out without me talking. Oh, okay.